washing portion of the process. We have our tradition fixed back handpiece here. The burr has already been removed in the operatory. And we've also purged the water on the unit hose for 30 seconds through the handpiece to just purge any of that water out after the procedure. So now we're here and we're going to do the washing portion and we're going to start by taking our Midwest cleaner and we're going to spray this on the outside of the handpiece. We can use running water and a sponge and we're just going to remove any debris off the exterior of the handpiece. Okay. We want to make sure if it is the fiber optic version that we clean this little uh, light window. Make sure that's nice and clean. If it's non fiber optic hand piece, you don't need to worry about that. Um, we're going to rinse this under running water. Water and the Midwest cleaner do not hurt this hand piece, but we do not want to spray, wipe, or soak with any disinfectants, alcohols, or chemicals. Just water and the Midwest Plus cleaner to remove any exterior debris. We're just going to go ahead and dry this off with a paper towel. And then it's ready for the next step. So we have our Midwest Tradition fixed back end hand piece here. We've completed the washing portion of the uh, process and now we're ready to move ahead with the lubrication and expelling of the handpiece. So um, the first thing we want to think about doing is the chuck maintenance. This is a weekly maintenance. It only needs to be done once a week. But once a week you're going to want to take and um, put some oil in the burr tube where the, you would insert the burr and you can do that either with the dropper oil and go ahead and put a couple drops of oil in there and then you can work that button a little bit that's going to make it easier to change the burrs um, if the push buttons are getting stiff that weekly maintenance of that oil will help that the other way you can do that is with our Midwest Plus spray. This cap that comes with the can has a little black tip already built into it with one little small hole there. So if we remove this little cover, we can put that tip right up to the ver tube and line that up and just do a little quick burst in there. That's really going to get a nice shot of cleaner and lubricant in there, so that's probably the preferred method. Again, and you can work that button to get that oil inside. So you want to do this first, and then we're going to do the maintenance that we would do after every patient, and then expel on these machines. So that chuck maintenance, remember, is just once a week. So now after every use, after we do the washing process, we want to lubricate with the cleaner and lubricant into the drive air tube. And if you can see, the drive air is the, the smaller of the two large tubes. There's a couple little tubes there too. But this is the uh, drive, drive air here on the left side. The exhaust is the largest. We want to spray into the drive air tube. And again, we're going to line this can, same can of spray up with the existing nozzle that it comes with. That little black tip goes right in the drive air. Good idea to put a paper towel over the head of the handpiece when you're doing this one. So we're going to hold this clean paper towel over top. And then we're going to go in the drive air and we're going to do a quick burst. I usually tell people by the time you get the button the whole way down, just go ahead and release it. One to two second spray of that cleaner and lubricant in there. So now you want to take a look here. And you can see we've got pretty clean oil out. It's going to spray out around the, the cap and the ver tube. If you would see a lot of debris 
on the towel at this point. We've moved to another position and give it another spray just to make sure we get all that debris out. That was our lubing. Now we want to expel. We want to get all that excess oil and cleaner, remove any excess debris, and we want to have a nice film of oil in the clean handpiece internally so it's ready to go for the next procedure. So we have a couple different machines here that do that. This is uh, the Legacy Midwest Air Station. It is no longer produced, but there's a lot of them out there. You might have a machine like this, or this is another manufacturer, makes it just a little air station. Again, does the same thing. All it's going to do is blow air up through the turbine and the handpiece and out through the exhaust and uh, get the excess oil out. So we're going to go ahead and place this on this machine, and you just line up the tubes. Again, we're going to take a clean paper towel again, kind of hold it over the head. And when we press down on this, it's going to push air through. And we want to do this for about 30 seconds. And what you're going to do is keep wiping that with the paper towel. Um, make sure you do it for at least 30. And then once you see that you can wipe and there's not any more oil coming off on the paper towel, you know you got all the excess oil and cleaner out. We don't want that coming out during the next procedure. Um, and then we know that there's just a film of oil on the bearings in there and we're good to go. So again, we're going to get one more clean paper towel and just dry off the outside of that handpiece. Make sure there's no excess oil on the outside of the handpiece. Then it's ready to be bagged and sterilized. And uh, you want to refer to the product IFU, the instructions for use for specific sterilization instructions. Mm -hmm.